Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, so shipping this plate, I had someone in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group ask me, how do I ship plates? So in this video, I'm just going to show you how I ship plates. I'm not saying it's the best way to ship plates, but it's how I do it. And I do get a coupon with my store subscription from eBay. So I did buy the, I think they're, I show you in the video, I think they're 12 and a half by 12 and a half boxes, which are great for plates. Now, I do get a little crazy with bubble wrap simply because I want to protect the item. This is why I'm not a fan of shipping glass because I feel like it is a ton of work. And let's face it, bubble wrap is not cheap. So um, you'll see here that I'm folding the corners up just to give extra padding on those sides. And I was trying to remember what I paid for these plates. I bought them at the thrift store. It was the Goodwill, I believe. And I could not remember. And I knew I did a haul video on it. So what I did is I went back and I found that video. And I'm going to show you a short clip where I tell you what I paid for these um, plates, the set. And I'm having a little trouble with the tape. Who else has trouble with the tape sometimes? <laughs> so silly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you a little clip of that. And then you guys know how I am about sharing bolos. It's one of my favorite things to do and what my channel mostly is about. So I'm going to show you all of the plates from this set that have sold so far and how much money I have made. So this ended up being a really good bolo item for me. And I was there at the thrift store, the Goodwill, and I almost didn't buy it. Because I'm like, oh, I hate shipping glass. I, you know, I just don't like it. And you can see right here, I'm kind of folding up the side. I'm doubling it. So it's extra, um, extra padding right there on that corner. And then I'm checking all the sides to see if I feel bubble wrap or if I feel the plate. And I still felt the plate. So I'm going to do a little more um, bubble wrap. And I sold this plate for $13 plus shipping. So not a huge sale. <laughs> But when I show you the sold, you're going to see how this has become a bolo. And this is the box from eBay and it is eBay branded. You can see here it says eBay and it's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And the, the sides are adjustable, which is really nice. So if you have something flat, like a record or something like that, I think records fit in these. I'm not sure the dimensions of a record, but I was thinking that maybe these would be good for records. But again, folding up the sides just to make that extra padding there in case it shifts around a little bit in the package, but it does fit pretty well into this box. And so far, I have not had anybody message me and tell me that the item has broken in transit and I have shipped quite a few this way. So again, this is just how I do it. There's so many ways to ship glass. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna show you the clip of what I paid for it and then I'm gonna show you my solds and then we're gonna go on to me shipping a mug and how I ship mugs. So um, it's kind of like a two-part video with some filler on the in, in between the two shipping just to kind of break it up a little bit and show you guys you know, a little bit of how I do my bolo videos. All right, here we go. Okay, at this point, you have seen how I shipped the glass plate. Um, I'm going to show you a little clip of a video I did showing what I paid for those plates. And then I'm also going to show you guys what I've made so far on those plates. And then we're going to go into shipping a mug. So let's watch this little clip real quick because I could not remember what I paid. And I knew I did a video on it. All right, here we go box so and i think it's listed for right around there now all of my glass and dish people okay i did look these up while i was there and there were some really high solds now there are a lot listed so 
my question for you, should I list all of these together or should I just put like, I have the big plates serving like uh, dinner plates. Should I just put, I think there's 12 or 13 of them, a multi-quantity listing and sell them one by one and just try to move them as replacements. Hmm, good question. Okay, so I ended up getting all these for $15. And I hate, 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 hate shipping glass. And I hate plates. But when I see, when I see good comps and I think, okay, I can get all of these for $15. That's less than a dollar each. And I could potentially sell each one for between five and $25. You know, I'm like, Oh, I just, I did it. I did it. So I'm thinking multi quantity because then I could just list one size. So this would be like a, a bread and butter or maybe a salad plate. I don't know. I'm so bad with dimensions, but it's called Copeland Spode, England Spode. Aster, I think, it's kind of cut off. Yeah, Spode, Spode's Aster. And, ooh, it looks like it's numbered. So this says two out of 8,130. Okay, so you guys get the point on that. Let's look at what sold. And if you guys are not familiar with my videos, I do a lot of sharing like this to help you guys learn. So I'm going to incorporate that into this video. And then we're going to go on and ship that mug. Okay, so this is a plate, one of the big dinner plates. I sold this one for 13 plus shipping. So the buyer was all in at $24.93. Another plate sold for 12 plus shipping. So the buyer was all in at $22.86. The next item, I lotted up nine of these bread and butter plates and I sold them for $35.20. The buyer paid shipping and was all in for $49.57. And the next item is the dinner plate again, but I sold eight of these to one person for $120. The buyer was all in for $145.83. And the last one that I've sold so far is actually somebody who bought two sets. So they bought five of these plates and then they bought three of these plates and the total they paid for both lots was $58 and with shipping it was $76.55. So for a $15 purchase, I think I feel pretty good about um, my profits on this and I still have more listed. So yes, glass is a pain to ship, but in cases like this, I think it's worth it. All right, let's ship that mug. All right, Bolo Buddies, let's ship this mug. Um, basically, I always put newspaper around the handle. It just offers a little bit of extra protection and it secures it in case it's kind of bumped around during shipment, which we all know is a good possibility that that's gonna happen. This is not a typical mug. This is a flip mug, so you will see that it has an opening on each side. So I'm just kind of tucking the newspaper into each side to protect the rim of the cup. And I do probably over package my items a little bit, but I have had an item that got damaged and I felt like I packaged it really well. I just think that it was, um, it was really like thrown or smashed or I have no idea what happened during shipment, but I have had one break before. So now I'm extra, extra careful and I put a lot of newspaper and a lot of bubble wrap. So you guys may be looking at this and being like, oh, she is using way too much stuff. Like that is not necessary and that may be, but I don't wanna deal with a claim. I want my customer to get their cup and I want them or their mug and I want them to be happy. So I'd rather use the extra bubble wrap and I always feel the mug after I wrap it each time to make sure that I can't feel the mug. I want to feel bubble wrap. So um, if I can still feel the mug, I'll put another layer. I will put this into an eBay box and the eBay box is 
kind of a rectangle shape because this is a longer um, mug than typical. It's not a typical mug. So it fits really good into this eBay box I have. Some people say to have like an inch or two inches of space when you put it inside the box. I do not have that much space in this box once it's wrapped, but I did before I wrapped it. Um, I should have showed you guys that. But um, I've got quite a bit of bubble wrap on this and newspaper, so probably an inch, inch and a half worth. So I feel pretty confident it's going to be okay during shipment. There's also eBay boxes. I think it's like seven by seven by six. I can't remember. Um, you can check the USPS website for those. Those are free boxes. Those are great for regular size mugs. This one, um, this size I bought with my eBay coupon and I really like the eBay boxes. All right, you guys, that's how I ship a mug. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.